At its best, what, what's your hope for the DPLA? Uh, I think that the, the hope is um, universal access to knowledge under the highest uh, standards and practices and really making the dream of digitization of the World Wide Web come together to uh, enable the largest number of people to really be able to learn uh, as much as they can and get access to information at any time, anywhere. So if that's, if that's the dream, then what's the largest obstacle to that happening? I think the largest obstacle is first bringing together all the different parties because a lot of people have, uh, a lot of institutions have efforts underway. We need to make them, we need to coordinate them. We need, we don't want to duplicate everything. We want people to cooperate with each other. And then we need to find a system for interoperability and for a single discoverable environment, hopefully that we can all share and benefit from each other. Are you satisfied that the uh, basically the right sorts of people are at the table now, or are there uh, groups of people, areas that uh, uh, could use more representation? So, so on the steering committee, for example. Um, I think we're we've, we're fairly representative. But we could always do better. I think we definitely want to reach out to the public library community. We've added a number of people from public libraries to the steering committee, and as people point out to us who they feel, it's, it's an open tent, big tent approach, so we're very flexible and adaptable, and the notion is no one should be excluded, we want everyone at the table, so I think as we, we grow and we learn, and people point to us who's missing, we can add people as needed. So what, what's the role of, um, uh, say, publishers, and uh, I don't even know what to call them at this point, but people like uh, Amazon and Google and Google Books? I think they're very important, and I think you want them, I mean, go both Google and Apple were at our last meeting. I think we want to keep talking to them. We want them to be part of this effort. We want to use the best things they have to offer. I mean, Apple on the interface, for example, would be a wonderful partner. Uh, iTunes University might be, you know, a way to get some of that content out. I mean, I think we want to, um, to make this a, a partnership with really uh, everyone that we can bring into the fold. So um, I think they have a big role to play. We have a lot to learn from them. And since we're on our way to The Hague to meet with Europeana, and Europeana was very present in the meeting we are just coming from, the day and a half meeting, um, uh, how do you see the relationship potentially between uh, the DPLA and Europeana and other such organizations? I think it's, um, I see it as a mutually beneficial one. I mean, it's ultimately this is a global library we're trying to put together. Europeana has uh, done some wonderful things. We want to be able to work with them, coordinate with them, and ultimately we hope to link with Europeana, with, with Africa, with Asia, and create a single global uh, uh, library. So I think it's very positive, this meeting with Europeana. Thank you very much. Thank you.